So today is going to be a worth the hype video on the Tartiest, Tartist, however you like to say, Pro Palette. And this was by Tarte. This came out last year around the holiday season. And um, honestly, this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion. Hi, Bunners. Butter's supposed to be in a video. Come here, butter. Oh. Say hi, Petey. That is no licking, no licking. Mama did her face. Say hi, this is Petey. He got really excited for some reason when I grabbed that. I don't know what he thought it was, but he thought it was like food or something, and he got bad popped. Say hi, Petey. Hello, YouTube. Hi. Alright, say don't forget to subscribe. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, no kissing, no kissing. Alright. Oh, the beverage. Oh, big fat boy. Alright, but this is what the palette looks like. And it honestly looks so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. And it makes me so sad because this is like one of my like first experiences with um, Tarte eyeshadows. The only other one I had was that mini Tarte Light palette. And I love that palette. I hit pan on a few of those shades. You guys saw it. It's that little travel $20 palette. Um, I actually keep it in my purse. I love that palette. Um, but these... It's not that big of a fan. This is a very unpopular opinion. It's nothing against Tarte. Um, I love a lot of Tarte's products. Just I'm, I don't know if it's my skin tone or what. Um, it just doesn't really seem to work for me, which is kind of a shame. This is going to go in my, like, my second chances, where I'm going to try to use this and do tutorials and all that with it and kind of see if I can make it work, see if I, I can change my opinion on it or something. Um, maybe I just got to work it differently or use a different base, but I am going to try. But so far, it's just, I don't know. I've had this for like a year. You can see I, you know, I totally, I dented some shades up. Um, I don't, I don't like these. I can tell you right off the bat, I don't like these like shimmery shades um they're just i don't know there's something about them i got a little wipe here i just don't i don't really prefer them um but i love this there's something about the color range i just wish like the tones worked for me more i just feel like this can go muddy really quickly um and i know that's not the case for all tart shadows it really just depends on the shades you use like i mean they're good but they're just kind of they're kind of chalky like they're beautiful like, this is so, so beautiful, but I feel like when you start to, like, get more than one color on the eye from this palette, they just start to get too chalky, and it can look, like, muddy, and they don't really want to blend that well. But the colors are just so pretty. Like, I don't know, they're just a bit chalky on me. And it's kind of a shame, because these transition tones are just so pretty. Like, ugh, so pretty. Um, I tend to not really have a problem so much with, like using like the orange the red i even use this burgundy a little bit it's just like when i start to go into like these tones where i feel like it might mess it up i don't know i'm gonna try to redo because when you see it, it's just so beautiful it makes me want to replay with this now because i feel like i gotta retry maybe try new things because i got new products and maybe i just that's all i needed but how people hype it up i don't think it's that great um, I think it's good when it's on sale. I think then it'd be worth it. But I really think it depends on your skin tone and how you can make this work. It just kind of looks, it just looks a little off, a little chalky, a little muddy on my skin tone. So if you're really fair, um, I'm not going to really recommend this to you. But I am going to do a video saying, um, I don't know, like a second try video. I think I'm going to do a series on that too. I am going to be doing a series of like, you know, like old school palettes and kind of bringing them back. But I would like to do a series where it's like second chance makeup and trying to make it work and seeing if I can. If you guys would like that, give this video a thumbs up so I know. Um, I think that'd be a lot of fun because these shades are beautiful and I totally, I see so many looks when I look at this. I'm very inspired. Um, I definitely do not, I don't like these. Um, but the mattes like, oh. I just see so many looks. I just need it to work for me. But, I don't know. Would I fully recommend it? Probably not. I don't, I'm don't. i not a big fan of the packaging. It's really, I don't know, cheap. Kind of flimsy. I don't know. The mirror on this, though, is like, sorry to blind you. You can see everything in the background. It is amazing. Um, totally love that. It's just like this part. It's so, it's so chintzy. But I will be doing a 
second chances with this palette so keep an eye out for that but overall in general would I find it to be as worth the hype as people said probably not I don't think it's a must need I totally think you could find different shades that will totally like be better for you and not be so muddy and chalky in other palettes but uh yeah I hope you guys enjoy and thanks so much for watching all right thanks guys bye